The coronavirus is a global threat right now, which means that doctors and scientists have to work hard and fast to make the vaccine. They're going to be looking at older antiviral drugs and vaccines, and also new ones since this is a novel coronavirus, which means that it is a new and unidentified one. On May 8th, the FDA approved three medications. Two of them are the anti-malaria drugs, chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine, and the other one is the antiviral drug remdesivir, which is a drug used to sedate people on a mental but other than that, the FDA has not approved any other drug or vaccine, which means that there's no cure. The goal of vaccine developers is to mimic a natural infection as closely as possible without getting the healthy person sick. There are many ways to do this. You can give the person a weakened or dead virus or show the immune system just part of the virus. Some researchers say that if a vaccine can reduce the severity of the coronavirus, it could lead to less hospitalizations and less symptoms for those who even catch it. One lucky break the COVID-19 vaccine developers have had is that the coronavirus hasn't mutated in significant ways so far, meaning that the spike protein is still there. The spike protein is part of the surface of the coronavirus that is trying to attach the human cell it is trying to enter. Once the immune system knows what the protein looks like, it will know what it is and how to defend itself. Usually when vaccines are tested, they go through three phases of clinical trials. The first phase is small and focuses on the safety of the product. The second is a little larger and gathers safety data while testing to see if the vaccine can induce an immune response. The third is the largest and has to be big enough to know if the vaccine will work in the real world. Moderna Therapeutics is an American biotech company focused on drug development and drug discovery and is going to be the first U.S. manufacturer to actually start on clinical trials phase 3 for their vaccine. Half will get the vaccine and half will get a placebo. The participants will be tracked throughout the study and also get their blood drawn and checked for antibodies. Let me ask this question, doesn't the vaccine also create antibodies? How can you tell by looking at a participant's blood whether the antibodies came from the vaccine or from the infection the vaccine failed to prevent? For the Moderna's vaccine trial, here's how they're going to tell the difference. The vaccine that they're giving out is known as an mRNA vaccine, meaning that instead of giving out an actual virus or even a little bit of it, they're going to give out a piece of genetic code which gives out instructions to make the spike protein, kind of like a recipe. But when you get infected by the actual coronavirus, there's going to be more to it than just the spike protein. However, there's still no vaccine for the COVID-19. The best way to prevent it is avoid being exposed to it. The virus is supposed to spread mainly from person to person. The World Health Organization advises people of all ages to take steps to protect themselves against this virus. For example, by following good hand hygiene, good respiratory hygiene, and following six feet social distancing. So stay home and stay safe. Remember, this is only the beginning of the vaccine development, meaning that the only cure is prevention.